Welcome to day six. We are here at the Endicott Arm. We pulled in at about 7 a.m. this morning and we're kind of just going through a little bit of a turn right now. I don't know if this is as far as we get. I think the captain said that we're going to creep as far forward as we can, but it is a beautiful, clear, sunny day again. Getting so lucky with the weather. Check some of this out. Kale's already out there with the binoculars. We're doing a little bit of a turn so everyone gets the view. I think. I don't really see a glacier though. I know, because I think it's down and over. God, the sun is so bright. Can't yeah, see it's it. blinding. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's down through there. Because look at all the pieces of calving glacier down there. I have a feeling we are too big to go through. So I don't think we're going to see it, but you know what? We can you to a glacier the other day, so mm -hmm. we did get to see one. Mm -hmm. The views and, are still amazing. Oh yeah, it's stunning here. Like just to see an iceberg while you're on a boat and not be terrified <laughs> is <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of ice chunks. Maybe it's not safe for us to move forward. Mm -hmm. One thing I can hear is our neighbors were smart and they got room service delivered this morning. That would have been so genius. To yeah. Do. I think we're going to try the main dining room. Mm -hmm. We kind of just want to wait for the views to be... I want to do like a full spin. Yeah. I, I wonder if maybe we'll see something later when we go to our North Star. Yeah, we did the maybe. first available North Star experience of the day, extended. Well, back when we first got on board, the first one I could get was like 140. <laughs> yeah, well, um, in the morning they only run the premium ones. So. Which are 70 US dollars each person. Yeah, so we're doing the 19... 99 yeah, extended I think, ones. I think we paid 1999 and I think they're 23 now. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if they change them based on what you're doing that day. Um, or maybe I just don't remember it properly. Yeah. So I wonder where the ship will be at that time, but we'll see. We're going to just hang <laughs> out here. catch can. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hang out here, enjoy the views, and then head to breakfast in a bit. It is coffee time. Oh, yeah. Headed down to the patisserie to get our specialty coffee. And this time we don't have to throw them away or chug them. Yeah, no kidding, because we, you can't bring them off the ship, so the last few couple times we had to throw it out. And then we're heading to the main dining room. I love a good royal main dining room for breakfast. And we actually had a good experience doing the lunch too on another cruise, so. It was kind of nice being on a uh, sea day today, I'm not gonna lie, because. My bag is so much lighter, honestly. We had three jam-packed days. Mm -hmm. Jam-packed, my feet are sore, but like, look, I don't have, pants, sweaters, umbrellas, hiking boots, extra socks, like I can lift my bag just like yeah, all exactly. that's in here is a towel, my bathing suit, and flip flops. Yeah. We need that day of rest before catch a can. Yes. Although I think we're just doing the lumberjack thing tomorrow I and brought, then exploring. I brought the catch can info packet with me so that we oh, can perfect. try and find some other things to do to fill up our day. What are you thinking, Kayla? Um, they have this thing called the market vegetable breakfast bowl that I'm kind of looking at. But uh, it's got mushrooms, which is like my arch nemesis. I hate mushrooms more than anything. Um, so I probably will just go with what I always do with an omelet. That's a safe choice. It's safe. Well, I usually get the breakfast burrito, which is a solid choice. And I always get the chocolate chip pancakes as well. So the uh, Endicott Arm was kind of underwhelming. I'm glad we got to go. Yeah, that's one of the sad parts about being a bigger ship is it's much harder it's, to get There's through. so many positives. It, could be. it wasn't foggy. We yeah. were able to get in there. Mm -hmm. We were able to do a nice spin. We didn't hit any yeah. icebergs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful sight. Mm -hmm. The sun was like out and shining. Like I think I got a yeah. sunburn. Um, I'm glad we did the glacier the other day though, because otherwise mm -hmm. we would have been like, okay, nope, well we, we didn't see one. So. Just know that if you're gonna do this trip, it's like it's like a toss up. If you're gonna see, yeah. we've some been of these so things. lucky. We've been very lucky. I'm so grateful. Very lucky. I had a good breakfast. It kind of sucks that yours wasn't as enjoyable. Yeah, it was okay. It was just uh, not as good as I remember it, which is a shame. But um, I really enjoyed the the uh, main dining room for breakfast before. And tonight it was like the food was hot though, so I'll take take a win. It wasn't bad. Okay, it just it it was better 
before. Uh, before. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just enjoying this beautiful scenery. It's absolutely incredible mm -hmm. sailing down. I guess we're still in the arm. So we're just sailing through Back. nice and slow. There's like basically no wake from the ship. Mm -hmm. It's so peaceful and smooth. The water's like glass. And just everyone seems to be kind of up here just kind of chilling or like on their balcony or... It's a pretty chill day on the boat. Yeah, very relaxed. Ship. Ship. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight. We do have uh, Wonderland on the books and uh, we also have the North Star at some point today at 1.40. So. Should be a lot of fun, nice relaxing day at sea. And then we got the quest tonight. And yeah, love, love and marriage, marriage and the quest show. tonight. So good, good events on the agenda tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can't wait. I think those are the quest is in the Cplex, which is interesting. That's, I'm still trying to figure out where and people are going to sit. And I imagine the love and marriage is going to be in the theater. Yeah. But uh, good, good day ahead, and uh, thanks for joining us. If you like the uh, video so far, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. We appreciate you. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our cruising experience so far in Alaska. We certainly have. It's been a trip of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not over. It's not over. <laughs> Kayla and I have noticed if you want quick bar service, you come to the uh, the pool bar here because generally like nobody's here. Whereas like the inside bars are usually uh, pretty jammed. Seems like a lot of people. That's where like you'll walk through the Esplanade at night, and it'll just be jam packed. Whereas you come out here. It's so peaceful. They uh, got my Foster's beer at the pool bar, you were right. That's sweet. He said he had no three more. And I think that's probably the last three on the ship. Can you just like get them all and bring them back to your room? <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. And then just uh, put them in the fridge, them yeah. How's the hot tub? Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Get in because like there's some right. eagles uh, soaring. Alright, I'm coming. Whew, that was refreshing. We enjoyed a nice like 30 minutes soak in the hot tub. Awesome because the sun's hot, but the air's cool and the sights are amazing. So, really nice hot tub. I love how they keep the you know top deck open. It's really great. The, the main pool isn't open. I like could, would have actually went for a swim after, but that's okay. It's uh, we're just hanging out and relaxing. I will say that I'm really glad we're on the ovation. This would be not as great. Uh, obviously, the cruise destinations would be just as good, but like this wouldn't be as great on uh, like a Radiance or a Serenade or just a, a ship that doesn't really have all the outdoor experiences that the, the Quantum class ships do. Like for example, we have the North Star, we have the Seaplex, we have the indoor pool plus the Solarium. So this is kind of built for this sort of trip, whereas maybe the uh, like serenade and that sort of thing, not so much. I would say that the carnival celebration so far has probably been my favorite ship experience, but nothing has com even come close to comparing the destinations of Alaska, really. So we are gonna continue the uh, Ryan and Kayla Olympic champion tradition here, and we're gonna play a game of pool. But Kayla, you gotta know, if I win this, I'm already up one. I would be crowned. You were also up one when we started last time. You can't see, but I am flinging this around, <laughs> you know, like. We'll see what I'm happens. I'm already up one. That's not where it goes. No? Guys, I know the eight ball goes in the middle and then it's like solid stripe, but that's all I know. <laughs> so, so this, this will be pool rules modified. All right, Kayla, open it up for us. The world is watching. Yeah. Gold. Oh no. That is a mulligan. We're gonna let you redo it. Voted. If I'm feeling nice that day, I won't include it. <laughs> there you go. Good job. You don't have to go for specifically solids yet. We haven't sunk anything. I just like that there's two opportunities. That green one in the corner is way easier. Yeah. No, no, you got this. Hold on. No, I don't trust you. No, everyone online is saying yes. Go for that green one. This one you can just like hit. All right. Like on the edge here. If I miss it. Make sure you. Oh my god, you got I'm so short. I'm like basically laying on the table. 
your Not your aim's a bit off right now. It has to be more this way. The other way. Oh. Like you're gonna hit. Right on. I thought you want to hit it on that little bit on the edge. Yeah, a little bit. Oh my! <laughs> Tell them I was right. Oh my god, you almost sunk the eight ball. Forgot about the eight ball there for a sec. Huh. The winner of this game is who sinks the eight ball at the end, right? Properly? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you but have you to have be to out of your, your solid balls. strength. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I miss this one, I can just forfeit right now. <laughs> Not necessarily. Good job. Oh! Oh, you almost oh, sunk one of mine. Damn, snap. that would... Let's oh. go. Damn it. <laughs> okay, one more. All right, it's getting hot. Oh, yeah, baby. Holy crap. Who would have thought I was dating a pool professional? What are the rules on legs? I think you're technically supposed to keep your legs down, but no, 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 that's a rule we can... I was like, that's not a real rule for us. Once you're done, guys, please bring by the pencils in here, then keep the paper with you. This is like impossible. Oh my god. Jeez. Seven and show show them a seven. Hopefully yellow nine. here. It's gonna be in the two seventy, all the way back. Oh to she two drills it. If you have a reservation Good job. You only have two left. I have three left. Um, I would love it to go right here because that would be great, but I know that's too easy. So let's just say, like, this one because it's not going to go in. Shut the F up. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What? As if. Like, you <laughs> can't make this up. Yeah, I gotta sink all three. Oh. One. Ooh, oh. Close. Ooh, that's lined up pretty nice for me. That's game, guys. I gotta say she was better than I thought, or I was worse than I thought. Either way, I, I wanted to mention too. I forgot to say if you would have sunk the white ball with the eight ball, I think that's an auto loss. But I think yeah, we don't know the rules of pool, so yeah. Kayla got some good shots, and her like you know form was not good. Like it she was, was just pulling good. out these like miracle shots, laying on the table like an idiot. Yeah, but no, she did really good. Team she Kayla, kicked, we're back in it. Kicked my butt. We are at one one. And I think the last game we were going to choose was like this kind of this like cornhole style game in the arcade. And uh, we'll just see how it works in terms of like, are we on a time limit or whatever. But we're thinking we'll do that on day eight. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Ryan the K Olympics continues. One more game. Best two out of three. See who, if she's the defending champion or if there's a new one crowned. Well, this is one way to have lunch. Yeah. This is amazing. I love this back of the wind jammer yeah. thing. Our right. windjammer is the best. It's gorgeous. You have this view, so you're not really missing out while you're eating. Because so sometimes you're like stuck in the windjammer and you can't really enjoy the view. This is the way to do it. Oh, I uh, time. completely passed out there. And Kayla had to wake me up. I wasn't even going to throw you under the bus, but I did take a video of Ryan snoring. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't include that. Snoring? Just a, a little, like a cute snore. Like a little... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> too, cute. too much food at the Windjammer snore. <laughs> <laughs> We're all checked in now yep. for the, the North Star. North Star. We're next. Looks like I it's think. just coming down yeah. from its last one. We'll see. My plan is, I don't know if they're what they're gonna allow me to do, guys, but I'm gonna put the GoPro on the glass on the inside, time lapse the whole thing, and also vlog while we're in there. Mm -hmm. Depending on how many people they stuff us in with. It looks like there is one, two, three. It looks like they kind of line the looks glass full. bowl, yeah. basically. So everyone Which makes gets something. Sense. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We uh, also paid for the extended instead of the regular up down. So it's like somewhere in the middle. A little it's bit not longer. The premium. Is this the one where we go over the side? Yeah. I think so. 
I well, think we go over. But I don't know what the premium one was. They must give you something good because it's like 70 bucks. I'd hope they give you a drink at least or yeah. something. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out together, guys. Let's uh, experience Royal Caribbean's oh, it's North right over top Star. Of us right now, actually. <laughs> Accidentally left my uh, GoPro in the North Star. It's so going up for round it's two. It's going up for a second view. Yeah, so I'm waiting for it to come back down it's so I can get it. Free. Someone's probably like, who the heck's GoPro is this? It's getting a free ride. Oh man, well, that was a lot of fun. That was maybe lovely. Maybe they'll see Whale, and maybe. Yeah, true. Maybe it'll be a better time than maybe. that time. Maybe. But yeah, that was that was nice. It for was. 20 bucks, not bad. I'd say that was worth it. Mm, I would yeah. agree. Get some great pictures. Good yep. little photo op afterwards, too. There's like a little lookout balcony that you can kind of do. Mm -hmm. we got and nice they don't let you up now. there otherwise. So. Yeah. It's only if you're doing North Star and then you take a picture and then come right down. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, pretty good. I'd recommend it. Just one, so I, I wouldn't do it again. Maybe if I came back on the ship another time I would, but not in the same trip. Yeah. Just doing a little lap around the ship. We just found out that 18 laps is a 10 kilometer. 18.24 laps. 10K. So any of you exercisers out there, if you want to do a 10K, got to do 18 laps. But I'm feeling very full after that lunch. Yeah. So, and I got to make room for Wonderland, so. Yeah, I looked at the Wonderland menu. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> We'll see. It's an like, experience more than yeah. a... Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, obviously give it a shot. I'm happy to try anything once, you know? So we'll see. Is it better than Chops? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, I was just admiring. Apparently, even though I wore a t-shirt and a sweater all day in the sun today, I've somehow either gotten a burn or like heat rash or something on my chest. So like, I don't know if you can see. It's still really hot out and it's 5.37. It's getting hotter. Like, yeah, and the sun doesn't set till after 10, which is crazy. It's blindingly nice and very hot out. So yeah. I'm not mad about it, that's for sure. Well, we're going to Wonderland tonight. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Get that tomato water. Let's I know. go. It's going to be so interesting. <laughs> well, again, we'll, we're not going to hype anything up. Like, yeah. You know, if it's not good, we'll let you guys know what, what we think. Oh, man, I, I could see. I definitely got some sun today as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wonder how it works, whether you get, like, one of each element. Uh, very interested to give this a try. I'm like mostly excited for their cocktails because I've seen, I don't oh, know if they've yeah. changed it since, but We've when been... we were on Symphony, we tried to get a drink in there before and uh, it looked like they had a martini that had dry ice in it and so it was smoking. And yeah, you know we love cool. a cool cocktail. So. Yeah. And uh, we've been saving our diamond vouchers like all day, all day for uh, <laughs> for this experience. So we got Love and Marriage in the Quest tonight. If you don't know what those are, Love and Marriage is pretty similar throughout the cruise lines. Mm -hmm. They basically just ask like a newlywed, uh, a couple that's like 10 years old and then a couple that's like, uh, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 40, 50 years of marriage. And they ask them like funny questions. Mm -hmm. And then um, the quest is like a Royal Caribbean game show. It's pretty funny. They get you to do all these Crazy, crazy things, things. like go get them like you know get a bra from the audience mm -hmm. and then people like throw bras down and stuff yeah. it's pretty funny dentures. I've seen people oh throw yeah their dentures teeth. is always one that makes it's an appearance so crazy. it's gonna we're in for a fun night here mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it and uh, we're gonna bring the camera so you can see the quest because we had the quest on Explorer but we didn't have our GoPro with us so this time oh, we're gonna get to see it forgot about that mm -hmm. yeah hopefully uh, yeah it's in the Cplex so I'm not exactly sure usually <laughs> there's like good seating area and stuff so we'll see how it goes and uh, but for now we're going to uh, head down get a couple drinks and get going okay we're at wonderland this is the third down, yeah. down the rabbit hole Okay, here we go. 
didn't get water yet. Oh, I need water? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. The menu is such a cool little touch. Like, it is like quite the experience. Like, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm just painting it, so. Okay, for cocktails, they have uh, down the rabbit hole, smoke rings. The rabbit hole, by the way, you can get red or blue. I can't remember if Neo in the Matrix takes the red pill or the blue pill. I think he takes the blue pill, but let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, white Rabbit Rita, Patron Tequila, Pure Cell, Lime Juice, Salt Foam, and then the Cheshire Cat Cosmo. I think we're going to try all four of them today. Alright, I'm ready when you are. How's your uh, down been, the rabbit hole? I haven't tried it yet. I've been waiting for okay. the ice. Give it a taste. So I didn't get to choose the red or the blue pill. I was just forcefully <laughs> <laughs> given the red pill. So I guess I'm gonna be you going down, down, down the rabbit hole. hole. Yeah. We found out it's red pill. It's red <laughs> pill. So I don't know if you can see it, but like <laughs> it's red at the bottom. <laughs> see it like kind of red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks clear from here. It's like, clear from here, and then there's like a red at the bottom right now. Oh, there. I see. It's good. Juicy, so it's got like, it's fruity, and then it's got like some um, sparkling wine on top, so it's got like a little bubble to it. I like the goblet glass. Yeah, nice. Cool. Oh, I can really smell the smoke. Wow, that's surprisingly light. I thought it would be stiffer, but very good. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. I'm the element of fire. Thank you. Nice. Ah, the buffalo chicken. Ooh, it's very smoky at our table. <laughs> <laughs> tomato up. water. Tomato water. It's better than that. What do you got? Not 100% sure. Avocado? Yes. Is there wasabi in this? Yes. Just put it all in your Yeah. Gotta commit. Remember, we're going down the rabbit hole. We're going to put the whole thing in the center and just eat wasabi. That's pretty good. Oh, you want me to keep going there? Yeah, may as well. This is a jumbo shrimp wrapped in string. <laughs> <laughs> No, good. Jumbo shrimp. Yeah, it's good. Okay, what's next for you, Ray? This is the bird's nest. Mm -hmm. And let's give it a go. Yeah, it's pretty good too. Mm, not bad. I, yeah, I'm not sure how to eat this, but kind of, yeah. Could use some seasoning on the actual. Mm. Alright, Kale, time for your half egg and leaves. <laughs> so, for everyone that doesn't know, I have a gluten allergy, so I can't have the bird's nest. So, they have served it to me on a bed of lettuce for my health. So. I normally don't like deviled eggs, so I'm just going to do this. It's actually good. Is it? Okay. It's not as eggy as I thought, so it's not bad. Yeah. Mm. Normally, like, a deviled egg isn't my favorite, but I got a little bit of sauce on there. So I almost wish there was more of that sauce. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Yeah. So I have a reconstructed caprese salad. I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start with this thing, which I believe is a real I tomato. I want to see this, the red thing. The red yeah. thing? What is it? Okay, so this is just a regular tomato. Okay. This thing I think is a jelly reconstructed science experiment tomato. Let's see. It's harder than I thought. Okay. It's got a lot of red food coloring in there. <laughs> and? It's actually, it's actually good. good. Do you want to try it? What is it? 
I have no idea. If you don't like textures, the olive is not for you because it literally explodes in your mouth. But then you get this like very subtle caramel olive taste. But it's good. Okay, I got. Uh... It's like lime, ice, lime shaved ice. Okay, this is. I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I'll do the scoop. Yes. You know what? That's not bad. That's pretty good. I hope you come hungry because I got a big one next. I got a spoon. Do you remember what's on the spoon? I remember it being like some sort no. of liquid lobster or something like that. You got a good memory. I know. Wow, that's really good though. Really good? I like that a lot. So this is like the vegetables in dirt, <laughs> but they couldn't give me the dirt, but they gave me an avocado puree at the bottom. So it's just a bunch of like roasted vegetables. This one's beautiful because it's like red on the outside and then yellow on the inside. Um, okay, so they brought me an eggplant parmesan. I was trying to scoop it up. So normally eggplant makes my mouth a little bit itchy, but I didn't want to say anything, so it's very creamy and tastes like lasagna. Butter knife. Just pulls apart. It says pulls apart. Very tender. And then they have like a bunch of different sauces to try. Uh, pairs really well. It's very good. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, this chocolate is made of balrona, very popular in France. Nice. So it comes the salted caramel ice cream. Wow. The peanut oregano in it. And it lies on the rice piece. Wow. Okay. I was able to get a dessert, which never I'm happens. I'm excited for you. Ever. Yeah, you can get a good one. Like, not even just like a scoop of ice cream. I was actually able to get the forbidden apple. The only thing I didn't get was like a rice crispy crumble on the bottom. We're not. We're yeah, not mad. That's just I don't for need show. it. Okay, I'll do it this way so you can see it. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's a very, very berry mousse. It's very flavorful. A lot of berry flavor. Yum. And then this is the yogurt ice cream. It's very yogurty, but wow, it's really good. Empty plate. Empty plate. Those uh, desserts, I can tell you, they slapped. Which would you say was your favorite? Any. If I had to choose one of the two of the mushrooms, I would probably go with the chocolate one. The the one. Yeah. Okay. But both were really good. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Even though it's kind of like a, it seems kind of like a one-time experience type of thing that you should try. But actually, you are a little underwhelmed by the quantity of food in the beginning. Then by the end, you're actually full, and I think it's overall fun and good. Yeah. Overwhelmingly difficult to eat gluten-free and vegetarian. However, I thought I was going to only be able to get like one or two things. I was able to get a lot of things. They just kind of modified it for me. And they were really good. Like even the tomato water, I was like, pretty good. This is what really happens after Wonderland. I don't need to know about this. I don't even know what I'm showing right now. But it's pain. So much pain. We had to do a little costume change. <laughs> we are feeling... Very full. Grossly overweight at the moment. Like, I don't know how. I think all the cruising, you know, we've gained like a million pounds. Today, when we had to get on the North Star, and she was like, can you just step on the scale? I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me? Like, yeah. absolutely not. That scale was a good scale, because it like yeah, took Yeah, minus take 10 pounds. pounds. 
but like right now I'd be scared to step on it because it would be like 20 pounds heavier. Yeah. Eleven cold. marriage show time. It's cold in here. A bit chilly. I don't mind it right now, but I bet you I will in a bit. There's already gonna be a good turnout. I can see a lot of people getting ready. We're here early, 20 minutes early. It's early. Just want to make sure I got a seat for you guys. While you're here, give us a like and subscribe if you didn't like the day so far. Appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we can enjoy the love and marriage and the quest next. We thought it'd be a fun idea to answer some uh, marriage questions of our own. Kayla verified that we haven't used any of these for our like banking questions and stuff, which is actually a really smart uh, question to that ask. But um, Kayla and I have been together since November 14th, 2014. So that makes it no, 2012. Uh -oh. Yeah. I would not do well at this game. Okay. Well, I, I know thought it's for a second it was 24. No, but it's 2012. Yeah, I know it's been 10 years. I know the the amount of years. I just don't know the. the I guess got yeah. the year wrong. 2012. Yeah. I'm not even mad, but 2012. Okay, and then we got married. Uh, 2019. September 7th, 2019. Had to look for verification there. September 7th. <laughs> September 7th, 2019. I'm, the, I'm usually the one who forgets our anniversary, so I'm really glad you messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So together, 10, almost 11 years. Yep. So and I guess. Married, uh, almost four? I guess 10 years we would be in the, not the middle? newlyweds, but we could probably compete for the middle one. We're going to pretend that you are Tarzan. And your significant other is Jane or Tarzan too, whichever you prefer, really. So whenever you're ready, let's hear your best Tarzan mating call. <laughs> Bruce, where's the craziest place that you and Susan have made would be? Oh, we actually discussed this just recently. <laughs> <laughs> Behind Harvey's. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was a lot of fun. Um, we don't have a lot of time to talk about it right now because we're running. The quest started. Quest. Well, actually, we the cruise time. director went over time. He's leading so the he's quest. He's currently running across the ship right now too. But now we're climbing <laughs> ten flights of stairs to get to the quest, and. We have no time to we'll show you that have as our well. last drink voucher for yeah. tonight. We got one more drink voucher, but I don't think they serve alcohol at the at the Cplex. They don't. So we'll see you there. in the quest back to back it was mm -hmm. very uh wham bam thank you ma'am <laughs> literally running upstairs yep. and the we end. had to get the last diamond voucher so i went like up 10 flights down 10 flights back up 10 flights so the first little bit of the quest you see was me recording while yep. ryan was running downstairs was... to get us drinks 
so I apologize yeah, in advance. But the love and marriage, I must say, was better than usual. And the reason because is they actually missed, mixed up the line of questioning as they normally do. They've added some questions now. Yeah, so not only added, but just like changed them. So it was even one couple was like, well, if we ever went up, we re rehearse the answers. I'm like, well, that's and no still fun. still didn't match. Yeah, Al mm -hmm. although like... Yeah, if you're uh, if you've cruised often, you know what kind of questions are coming. So it was nice that they changed them. So uh, had a good laugh there. It was a lot oh, yeah. of fun. The quest was good. I always love the quest. The quest is so much fun. We have had some pretty wild quests in mm -hmm. the past. Oh some yeah. Of, some of which we've actually participated in yep. and won. Participated in my fair share. Took my fair share of pants off. Um, I think I'm retired. My quest trophy. We are now spectators. We are like you know you know when you've already like reached Valhalla of quests. You don't need to you know you continue to, to participate. Watch. You are in a, like the the elite. Exactly. Yeah, we've won twice, <laughs> so we don't need to participate anymore. We just get to watch and judge yeah, others. Yeah, exactly. Now. But it was fun. Um, they said it was gonna be spicy. It wasn't like wasn't that as, as spicy as I've seen. Yeah. Although it was pretty fun. I like the cruise director mm. on, the, on the board. His name's Brian mm. Levitt, I think. We had a great day today. I hope you enjoyed day six with us today. And tomorrow we are Very in Ketchikan. Ketchikan. We are doing the Lumberjack show. 8.45 first thing in the morning. Oh. So we're going to be getting off bright and early. Why? And then we're just... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? And then we're just going to be exploring <laughs> Ketchikan and just seeing what we can find. We'll probably just do some shopping. Maybe maybe if there's a trail, we'll jump on a trail. But uh, we're doing the Lumberjack Show. It seems to be really popular. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for following along so far. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you tomorrow. It's like 1 a.m. right now, and we got to get up in like six hours. Yeah, so. thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, and we'll see you next time.